Yesterday at the baby shower, Lauren absolutely was exhausted and tired. That's why she wasn't really like, you know, enthusiastic. She was like really, really sick. She said yesterday she had cramps and she called her mom and basically was saying like, is it normal to be in, you know, third trimester and have like, you know, cramps and baby, what else happened? You said? Uh, cramps and I was nauseous. Nauseous. She was hot. She didn't want to eat. You know, um... We looked it up. They said some like preterm labor. We hope that absolutely do not happen. You know what I'm saying? So we said if this was gonna happen again, we was gonna take her to the hospital. And you no, know, right now it's, it's really early, so we probably about to go, you know, to the hospital and stuff like that. Cause my baby is really not feeling good. And I hope it's not preterm labor. That is too early. Um, and you begin. What would you say? You been getting? I don't think it's Braxton Hicks. I think it's um. It's like I've been having like. Pains in like my rear area. Your butt. And then, like, Your butt. Yeah, and then like I've been having like cramps, and then I just been nauseous like for the past like three four days. Always saying she. Feels and like I've been having like up. a headache, and I'm always I've been really hot and just nauseous like I'm gonna throw up. That's all she's saying. So. We, you know what I'm saying? We we was asking questions and we was just wondering, like, is this normal to do? You know, if this is supposed, this is her third trimester, you know, so she's absolutely supposed to be good. You know what I'm saying? But she's nauseous, like it's as if it's your um what your your first trimester, right? Yeah, like I'm I've been nauseous every day now. Every day, and then she just keep telling me like, I don't feel good. And we we about to go to the hospital. We about to see what's up because if you be having pains in your butt. That's we don't know what that is. So yeah. you no, know, uh, her stomach was hurting yesterday. We pray that the baby is fine. Um, I don't know if she came down with a fever. I don't know what's going on. So um, we're gonna go to the hospital and we're just gonna see what's up and what medication or what medicine we can do to help my baby out. You know, hopefully it ain't nothing serious. Hopefully it's just like a little fever that it bypass. You know. Yeah, but I was having bad pain yesterday. Like, at yeah, night, you I was, was crying. Cramp, yeah, she was, was really pain. like, she was crying bad, y'all. She was like, that's all she was talking about. Like, she didn't want the baby shower. She was just like exhausted. She didn't want to eat. She didn't want to yeah. drink. I bought her apple juice so she can like booboo her bowels out. Like, she didn't want to do nothing, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Like, we was out all yesterday. It was mayhem, and it was just, I felt bad for my baby. Like, for real. I didn't, I don't, and it's like, I don't know what to do to help her. So, we're going to take her to the hospital. Alright, alright. So, uh, we on our way, man. You feel a little better, baby? Just a little bit or not? Mm, I'm so nauseous. You about to go see what's going on. I got a headache, too. It's, it's really scary because we missed our doctor's appointment, too, so. It's like, you know, we gotta go see what's going on. We got the emergency side, right? Huh, baby? Right here? Um, this way. We about to be up in here for about four hours. Probably, if not more. Cause I'm, I've came up here for little things and you like, we'll just sit here all day. It really depends, you gotta keep going. <clears throat> it really depends on what's like wrong with you. Like for us, we don't know what's wrong, so they might have to do some different stuff. Hope I don't, I hope y'all, I don't got no, I have to get no pep smear or nothing, no vaginal exam, but. What's that? When they clamp your vagina and oh. look in there and dig their hand oh, in Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby, no. They ain't doing that to you no more. Not no more. Mm -mm. Yeah. And they're going to have to, even when I go in labor, they're going to be sticking their hands up. They, um, <clears throat> that one girl said it. Once you're well, like in labor, they uh, always well, come and check on you. I'm not getting you pregnant no more. <laughs> I don't like when you're in pain. Yeah, just them. Joy, you turn too early. Oh, I got to go back around. Where's the park over there? That's the emergency. So I think Lauren feeling a little better. That's good. It's crazy. As soon as we got in here, she started feeling a little better. Ain't that right? Yeah, actually. Well, you earlier this morning, though. You still got a headache? headache? Yeah, I do have a headache. Earlier, I always have a cramps again, though. Yeah. Hopefully, we might not be in here that long. What do you think? How long do you think we've been here for, like? I'm not sure. It depends on. They're going to let us know what the other she, she been kicking? You seen it? 
Yeah. No, I'm asking. Yeah, she just did. She did? Yeah. I'm glad I had the, uh, I think I got Lauren something to eat. She had some Panera bread, so. But I know yesterday was way worse at the uh, baby shower, so. Um, I'm just glad she okay. You know. Oh, you getting big, baby. A couple more weeks and you gonna. Am I big? Yeah, I can see it. A couple more. <sighs> Yeah, let me see if you're still hot. I kiss Lauren on the forehead. Her head. Oh, she was moving. You missed it. Do it again. Hold on. We gonna keep it on her. Oh, they seen it. They seen it. They can see it. <laughs> do it again. I can't do it. She has to do it on her own. Baby Camilla, do it again. I don't know, guys. If y'all seen that, she just moved for y'all. She love y'all already, Jello Squad. She gonna be a star in the making. That girl gonna be really a star. Yeah, guys, we're supposed to be recording up in here, but I don't care. Um, I'm recording till they say something. I got my laptop right there. All that, man. You tired? Yeah, I am. I'm always tired now. <laughs> like, draining tired. Yeah? Like, crazy tired. And you get a lot of sleep, that's it. Huh? So you just gotta sleep a lot. Even if you do, you're still gonna be tired, though. Yeah. You're just gonna be naturally tired. That's the baby heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Sounds like a horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It do. Yesterday I was having like really bad stomach and I was just like so hot. And, like, Anybody sick at home? Because I know. She kicks super hard, y'all. She's squeezing my arm. Is what? Squeezing my arm. What is? It is. Oh, heck, you know, bro. It's squeezing my arm. You heard my baby? It's hurting me. That's what I'm saying. You my baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it just loosened. Hey, what is that noise? I have no idea. Stop. I don't think so. Is she moving? Uh, you can hear her heartbeat. That's what I'm saying. It's probably the machine. Thanks. Dang, she kicking hard. Yeah, she's moving. All right, that's good. I wonder what that is. That's scary. I don't know. What's good, y'all? So, it's a new day, but yesterday we didn't get to finish the vlog because we didn't get back from the hospital till really late. But, yeah, yesterday was, i just been having a lot of just pains. Like, I even today, like, I've been having pains in my stomach. So, I went to the hospital yesterday because I was just nauseous and having, like, pains. And, of course, I get there, and, you know, they had me hooked up to the machines and stuff. But they said I was fine. Yeah, thank gosh. They said I was fine, but they just, I guess they said it's normal because, you know, I'm getting further my pregnancy, so I'm 33 weeks, pretty much, and... I'm gonna hold it for your arms, sir. You can if you want. Yeah, so basically, like, once you get further along, like, in your pregnancy, like, because the baby's dropping, because um, your cervix doesn't start opening, so... So the baby's dropping, basically, you're just gonna have pains here and there. So I guess I just gotta live with it. But, yeah, we went to the hospital because, you know, that was my first time going there. Just to make sure, but now I know like we don't always have to go next time I have pains. I just got to deal with it pretty much because, you know, your water don't break. In, I mean, you don't go into labor until your water like pretty much breaks. So unless you're having, they said like, they said like you can come in if it's like, if you feel like you need to. But basically like you should be fine unless your contractions are like every like three minutes. Like and you keep feeling them, then you should like, you should really go in. But she said like, I was fine. But yeah, I've been having like just random pains, but I guess I just got to live with it. So... I got one month left, one month in like two weeks, so. Yeah, guys, so, um, 
We just, you know, you gotta take precaution. Yeah. Cause you never know. My oh, baby looking good. <laughs> You never know what's gonna happen, but she actually been saying she's having some more of the same pain she felt before. I think that's just her body changing. Yeah, ready. that's what the doctor was saying. Yeah, so the doctor said um, <laughs> you will know when it's contractions because it feel like some pulling you, deep breaths. She ain't gonna laugh. She ain't gonna be talking. She gonna be like in pain. So now we know. They told us all the steps what we mm -hmm. need to know. And she also had a pelvic exam. I was holding her hand. She did good this time. Yeah, they did get a pelvic exam. And she said my cervix is still closed, so that means I wasn't in labor. But yeah, like Joel said, it's just I'm just getting closer. The baby's just, uh, you know, my, my my body's adapting to the baby dropping, and you know, I'm getting close to my due date. So yeah, I guess and it's I also um, a lot. my back cutting you up. I also put mm -hmm. it put Lauren on my Snapchat. Shout out to all the loyal. So, uh, support of subscribers that was DMing me because they thought she was having a baby and new subscribers that was praying for um praying for you and stuff like it was some good subscribers. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. they wanted to know what was happening. So shout out to y'all. Um, I went Instagram live and everybody was like, "What's going on with Lauren?" and you know stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys you know keep riding this journey with us. I'm about to end this vlog. But yeah, I was gonna say um. Like, my back has just been hurting, too, a lot. Like, it's just it's a lot of symptoms, like, that we know the baby's getting close. Yeah. Like, I'm starting to have, like, nausea a lot and just, like, shortness of breath or, like, different pains. And, like, the baby's kicking even harder now. Like, I can tell it's, like, getting near there because I'm having a lot of just symptoms, pains, back pain, all that. Yep. So, um, get this video 10,000 likes. Baby Camilla, she's on her way, guys. She's on her way. Yep, few more weeks. Few more weeks, guys. Um, just stay, you know, stay with us with this journey. When she get here, we are gonna make a family channel. Uh, yep. we don't know what we are gonna call it yet, but stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, they can. Uh, y'all comment down below some family channel names, cause they, remember they gave us J Lo Squad the name. So we know y'all smart with the name. So comment yep. some um family channel names we could do. We don't want J Lo family. That's you know we want something like more. You know, something more sweeter. So, no J Lo family, but comment some names I think we could do. Something with a family title. They don't have to say family. They don't, but just give us some cool names. Yeah. But, all right, guys. We love you all. Stay tuned for the next video. We out. Peace. Oh, yeah. Baby, it's me and you up against the world. Every time that I get, I gotta adore you. Spoil you with Louis purses and Michael Kors.